Teachers thinking about retiring before the age of 65 may want to reconsider. A new law changes health care costs for the TRS plan. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with us to explain all of this. That's right. So a bill signed last week by Governor Abbott means that teachers who retire before 65 will no longer get the same health care plan they were promised. Premiums and deductibles are going up, and one local woman says teachers are not being warned how drastically it's about to change. I mean, I just didn't believe they, they would really do this to the teachers, mm -hmm. to the teachers. 63 year old Nancy it's Rilling loves to take things slow since she retired from teaching due to chronic back pain. It would have been worse, worth suffering to stay working. Starting in January 2018, a new law changes health care costs for retired Texas teachers under 65, like Nancy, who covers herself, her husband and her adult child with the teacher retirement system or TRS health care plan. My in network deductibles are increasing 130%. So really, my entire pension now is going to cover health care cost, and that's before we even get sick. Lawmakers say retired teachers under 65 are costing the system the most money because they are not eligible for Medicare, and the TRS plan is spiraling toward empty. If you're under 65 and you don't like what we have to offer, that you are free to leave, and you can come back and get the Medicare Advantage plan when you reach 65. Texas Senator Joan Huffman sponsored the bill that increases the deductible to $3,000. The average retired teacher receives about $24,000 a year. So Rilling says it's unaffordable, especially for the teachers recently retired who do not have the option of going back to the classroom. You cannot go back to work as a teacher unless you sit out a whole year. And I substituted last year. Senator Huffman said she added a perk to this bill that will allow retirees under 65 to receive many of their generic prescription drugs at no cost. Her full statement and video of the Senate hearing where this was discussed is on click2houston.com. You'll find it under the health section.